Be vegan. Make peace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kataban schedule. La balsa navegó sobre las aguas del mar rumbo al horizonte oriental y cuentan los viejos que entró en el cielo, pero no se sabe cómo y de qué manera llegó al mundo de la luz. Y dicen los que saben que en verdad vive Quetzalcóatl, no murió, de nuevo habrá de volver, sobre su pueblo habrá de venir a reinar. Please watch on for Prophecy of the Golden Age. Part 141, The Return of the King. Bienvenidos amados televidentes. That's Spanish for welcome beloved viewers. I am Xochitl, a princess of the Toltec Empire of ancient Mexico. The caring Mexican people appreciate the hope and happiness you bring to fellow beings. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the true will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. Previously, we began to explore the prophecy about the return of Seacatl Quetzalcoatl, the venerated master and king of the Toltecs who lived a thousand years ago. According to the legend, as he bade farewell to his disciples on the Atlantic seashore, Lord Quetzalcoatl promised that he would come back one day to bring lasting peace to the world. He then threw his cloak onto the ocean water and sat upon it. Miraculously, it did not sink, but carried him like a raft. As he began to move away from the shore, 
Sea Cattle lovingly said, Que a todos os mire con amor el inventor del hombre, el conocedor del hombre, que seáis feliz y cumpláis con todo lo que os dir a comer de mi labio y mi boca. Que permanezca la tierra, que estén en mi pie los montes, que se esparzan por el mundo las flores del maíz tostado, las perfumadas flores del cacao, que permanezca la tierra. Already, Lord Quetzalcoatl, who was a fully enlightened master, knew that our planet was on a course towards annihilation due to the world's accumulated bad karma. Thus, he was praying for us. He wished us well. His deep concern has never changed till our present era. I dream that all the world will become peaceful. I dream that everyone becomes Buddha. I dream that all the killing will stop. I dream that all the children will walk in peace and harmony. I dream that all the nations shake hands with each other, protect each other, and help each other. I dream that our beautiful planet will not be destroyed. It takes billion, billion, trillions of years to produce this planet, and it's so beautiful, so wonderful. I dream that it will continue, but in peace, beauty, and love. Animal consumption is eating up our planet, is killing us humans, and destroying our only home. That soon we might not even have a planet to live on, for our children to continue to live on. Now we can see meat is everywhere, legally killing us and our children, legally killing our planet, killing the environment on massive scales. We must stop animal production now and at all costs if we want to keep this planet called home. I don't mind going. It's just that how about the other people who like to live, who want to live on this planet, because they do not know yet there's another place that they could go. And if they die in such a situation, it's very difficult for their spiritual upliftment. And this is still a very beautiful planet. It's still repairable. So just one request vegetarian diet, then everything else we will have time to do and to think of. It's so easy to destroy your planet. If nothing changed, our planet will become maybe like that. Maybe I either will like Mars or like Venus, or just uh, finished, exploded or 
uninhabitable, everything kaput. Right now, it's still hanging in balance because we have more and more people join vegan diet. It's still hanging in there, but I don't know how long it can hang. My time when I'm alone, meditating, I see all the catastrophic situations. I see people suffer. I see animals suffer. I just keep crying, and my heart is in so much pain. Sometimes I don't know how to switch it off. I wanted to, but sometimes I can't. I just have to go on working eh? and hoping for the best. Let's hope we can still make it, hey? In early 2012, we learned that Master had saved the planet for some more years through her extreme sacrifice. Ah, well, I thought I would never see you again. And here I am. Wow, that's nice. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe our luck changed, huh? <laughs> yeah, I hope it changed forever. <laughs> we have saved some more years for the planet. <laughs> I don't know if you have. I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> and we have, huh? Well, we work together, huh? Yeah. You saved it. <laughs> I hope it will last longer. Yeah, but I had to work harder. So much suffering. It's worth it. It's just sometimes I thought I cannot do anymore. Phew. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, though. I really am. The price was so high, I thought I couldn't see you. The master power, heaven power can help to keep the planet afloat for some time, to buy time for us. But we have to take action now. All the governments in the world must take action or else we'll be all gone. And even if the planet will not be gone, it will be like a burning inferno. And I don't think any good parents would like to imagine their children or their grandchildren be burned in such an inferno like that. So if they love their children, grandchildren, great-great-great-great-grandchildren, they have to act now, they have to be vegan now. The account of Master Quetzalcoatl continues. La balsa navegó sobre las aguas del mar rumbo al horizonte oriental y cuentan los viejos que entró en el cielo, pero no se sabe cómo y de qué manera llegó al mundo de la luz. Y dicen los que saben que en verdad vive Quetzalcoatl, no murió, de nuevo habrá de volver, sobre su pueblo habrá de venir a reinar. True to the legend, when Supreme Master Qin Hai began her mission in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, 
One of the very first countries she visited abroad to give lectures was Costa Rica in 1989. Thus, she returned from the eastern horizon. My dear friends, queridos amigos, I feel like I came home. He, he llegado a mi casa. Yes, because of the love you had. You have showered upon me in these days since I arrived in Costa Rica. Por el amor que han derramado sobre mí desde que llegué a Costa Rica. By so-called strangers on the street. He visto gente desconocida en la calle. By the children in the school. Los niños en las escuelas. By the passengers on the bus. Los pasajeros del autobús. By the clients in the restaurant. Clientes en los restaurantes. I feel I know everyone in Costa Rica Sien because they all know me. Siento que conozco a todos porque todos me conocen. I feel that God has loved us so much these days. Siento que Dios ha derramado tanto amor estos días sobre nosotros. I feel God has united us in a very invisible and loving way. Siento que Dios nos ha unificado en una manera muy amorosa. I'm filled with such a very rare sentiment that I'm surprised also at myself. Yo misma estoy sorprendido de lo real de estos sentimientos. I could let my tears roll down, but I save it. Eh, podía sentir que mis lágrimas querían derramarse sobre mis mejillas, pero because, me contuve. Because if the tear comes out, it lessens the intensity. Porque cuando las lágrimas se derraman, el sentimiento es menos intenso. I like to enjoy it. Me gusta disfrutar. The blessings that I cannot speak of. De las bendiciones inexpresables. I think you also feel the same way. I hope you do. Master spent quite some time in Costa Rica, establishing an ashram there for the fast-growing number of disciples. She also soon gave lectures in Panama and Mexico. I'm surprised I don't even speak their language. The first time I came to Mexico, I felt their overwhelming affection immediately, you know, and every time I go there, it's the same. Yes, and the Costa Ricans also.
master's affinity with the people of that region was undeniably strong. Many must have recognized deep in their souls that their priest king had returned from the eastern horizon. En el año 1991, conocí a la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai cuando se dio una entrevista que ella tuvo con un expresidente. Y yo tenía mucho deseo de conocerla porque era la maestra espiritual de mi hermano, de quien me hablaba tanto. Y aunque yo había sido formada dentro de la religión católica, cuando él me comentaba acerca de sus enseñanzas, yo pensaba, sí, tiene sentido. Son las mismas enseñanzas de Jesús. El día de la reunión nos encontrábamos un grupo de personas esperándola y en el momento en que entró, yo sentí que ya la conocía, que estaba volviendo a ver a una persona muy, muy querida anteriormente. Algo así como, como la verdadera mamá que estaba volviendo a ver eh, en el sentido espiritual. Por más que recordaba, trataba de recordar, no recordaba a dónde la había visto, quién era, quién era, pero era alguien muy cercano y muy querido anteriormente. Al pasar ella por mi lado, me tomó del brazo y así subimos las escaleras donde iba a ser el lugar de la reunión. El expresidente se tardó en llegar. Y yo tuve la oportunidad de conversar más tiempo con ella. Y al decirle que me sentía muy bien, muy a gusto a su lado, ella me dijo algo así como que quizá nos conocemos antes. Y seguimos conversando muy dichosamente. Nunca había sentido tanto amor tanto amor de alguien, un amor diferente, fuera, fuera de este mundo. Y le agradezco a la maestra que me diera esa gran oportunidad, que nos diera esa gran oportunidad a todos los seres humanos por los que ella está luchando y está tratando de ayudarnos. Antes de la iniciación, cuando era niña, a menudo soñaba con un hermoso ángel que no podía ver, solo escuchar. En mis sueños, cada vez que ponía un pie en la oscuridad, un enorme y feroz gato negro aparecía con la intención de matarme. Y podía escuchar una dulce y tranquilizadora voz femenina que decía, quédate en la luz con tu madre y tus hermanos, ahí estarás a salvo. Entonces me daba la vuelta y veía a mis hermanos y a mi madre protegidos por la luz. Y yo regresaba rápidamente a la luz. Cuando me convertí en un adulto joven, tuve un sueño. Vi un hermoso ángel lleno de luz, con unos divinos ojos azules. Llevaba un bello vestido largo hasta el suelo, decorado con piedras preciosas, con los colores de Quetzalcoatl. Años más tarde, cuando comencé en el método Juan Yin, en una fotografía reconocí a mi ángel como mi amada maestra suprema Ching Hai. Nunca he encontrado las palabras adecuadas para expresar cuánto la amo y lo agradecida que le estoy por haber cuidado de mí y de mi familia. Siempre me sentí muy segura porque sabía que estaba muy bien protegida por mi ángel. Actualmente, mi esposo, mis hijos, dos de mis nietos, mi madre y cuatro de seis hermanos son iniciados Juan Yin. Mi hermano es vegano, su esposa y su hija mayor son iniciadas y sus tres hijas pequeñas son vegetarianas. Además, el nieto de mi hermana es también vegano. 
con infinito aprecio, agradezco a mi amada Maestra Suprema Ching Hai por su amoroso cuidado. In 2010, Master came once again to Mexico and spent some time in Mexico City and the Cancun area. Like Quetzalcoatl before, she was blonde, light in complexion, and once again welcomed by the native strangers with copious warmth and affection. Costa Rica, when I first went there, first time ever. And then when I had to leave, they say, Master, going, uh, when you leave, it, it, like somebody cut a piece of my flesh away, for her flesh away. I want to see you all the day and, and night. I'll be too busy. No, too busy. no, <laughs> you, you have many bodies. Please give me one to see you all the time. What for to see 24 hours? Only when necessary, right? It's necessary all the time. <laughs> I will take Eres your love with me. Llevaré su amor conmigo. And I will keep the memory of, uh, of the best time I have here. Y guardaré el recuerdo del de tiempo bonito que he pasado aquí. I will always remember the Mexican people. Siempre recordar a los mexicanos. Yes, I really wanted to live here. Me <laughs> gustaría vivir aquí. I would like a lot <laughs> you to be here. I don't know why. I don't know why I came and I like to stay.
thank you, gentle viewers, for joining us today. Please tune in again next week as we continue exploring the prophecy of Lord Quetzalcoatl and the Golden Age. Coming up is Honoring All Mothers Today and Every Day, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May you always feel blessed in heaven's embrace. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace, free for download at crisistopeace.org. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP. Be beige. Go green to save the planet.